Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk a little bit about a really cool Christmas present I got from a buddy of mine. I got a BIOS 1.0 eyewear cam and basically it's a pair of sunglasses with a camera right in the bridge there. Um, I'm going to turn it on here so you can see what it looks like. So there they are on. Um, first of all I would like to apologize for the messiness in my gun room and I'm very sorry for the blaze orange carpet that you have to put up with. But since it was the ugliest room in the house, my wife decided that I could have it for my guns and stuff. So, anyway, my buddy figured that a head cam would be a really cool way for me to kind of demonstrate some of my IPSC videos that I shoot. Um, and I figured he's absolutely right. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a quick video to demonstrate uh, the camera. So first of all, what I want to say is uh, this is a camera that retails for less than a hundred dollars so don't expect super duper high awesome quality uh, they shoot in uh, 640 by 480 so standard definition video and as you can hear the audio simply sucks on them um, they have a feature that allows you to record in just audio and not video which I find slightly ironic due to the fact that the audio uh, recording capabilities of them are extremely limited. So, uh, as you will see for the remainder of this video, my Canon camera, which I am currently shooting with now, uh, will be recording the audio and uh, for the most part you'll be hearing that instead of the audio from the camera. Um, as you can see, it has a 70 degree uh, field of view, so it is sort of uh, zoomed in a little bit, which isn't bad. Um, when you're presenting your firearm, uh, if you're shooting a handgun, uh, it kind of zooms in to the point where it sees your, your wrists, your hands, the gun, and your target. So it kind of works out perfectly. The downside is, if I do any mag changes down low, uh, the, the viewer is not going to see the mag changes very well. So um, what you would have to do if you wanted to do a mag change up high would be to kind of really, and even that wasn't that great, you'd have to really you know, bring it up high and uh, it, it's not comfortable or conducive to fast shooting. So I would say that for the most part I'll be using these as a secondary camera um, and in some cases even a tertiary. That being said, that's what it looks like when you're shooting a handgun. Not bad. And uh, I have a couple of other firearms here. I thought I would kind of demonstrate how well they work. So let's start off with the Stevens 300. All of these firearms are unloaded. So there is me with a perfect sight picture. As you can see, not bad. You can see the target. You can see the sights. You can't see down the sights, of course. But you can see the side of the gun, you can see the sights, you can see the target. Not bad! Now, let's switch to a scoped firearm. There I go. I have a good sight picture. And what do you see? The side of the scope. So, uh, yeah. I wear cam for a scoped rifle. Not so good. And let's move on to uh, the Mossberg 500. Not bad, but not great. Um, I would say primarily uh, these glasses will be used mostly for handgun shooting, not for uh, rifle or shotgun shooting, simply because it doesn't have a great uh, field of view and uh, it doesn't really give you a, an interesting image to look at. So, once again, there's the, uh, the handgun view. Not a bad view. I think it will uh, make my IPSC shooting videos just a little bit more interesting, I hope. Um, also, you'll probably watch for some four-wheeling videos, maybe some hunting videos. Really, the options that you have are pretty much endless as long as, uh, as, as you've got a good sight picture. Now, uh, one of the downsides is you don't know what you're seeing until you do some practice videos and then put them on the computer to, to see what you've shot. So that is highly recommended. Uh, you will learn that you need to kind of bow your head slightly to get a good front-on view. 
um, I found that most of the time, whenever I do things, I move my eyes down and, and I can see me doing the mag change just fine, but I'm pretty sure you're seeing just the tip of the gun here. So if you wanted to do stuff, um, you know, using these, you got to make sure that you actually point kind of your forehead at what you're, uh, what you're looking at to make sure that the camera actually picks it up. There are better cameras on the market. Um, but for $100 or less, I don't think you can go wrong with these if uh, you're simply looking for a, a, a standard definition camera to kind of augment your videos. I would not use these as a primary camera, but to augment some cool first person shooting or some cool first person driving or hunting or whatever, I think they'll work quite well. So, so anyway, I just wanted to uh, demonstrate what uh, capabilities these, this camera has and I uh, thought maybe you'd like watching it, so uh, hence the video. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed watching, and as uh, soon as the winter breaks, since it is definitely winter out there still, um, you know, watch for some more Ipsic shooting videos and uh, maybe some more range videos. So until then, have yourselves a great new year, and uh, I'll see you in the spring.